Hello there, it's Michelle. I'd just like to show you my latest junk journal. It is a Victorian Christmas. It's made from an old recycled cereal box. It has pamphlet stitch, three hole pamphlet stitch, holding two signatures in. I'm very, very lucky. I have a wonderful friend, Fiona J, on YouTube, who gifted me pretty much predominantly a lot of scrapbook paper that you'll see within this particular journal and also the lovely gorgeous red seam binding here. Now I used a lot of stickers to embellish the front, a little bit of uh, coffee staining going on, pretty much everything is coffee stained. I've done some decoupage and just put a napkin onto an old book page. I've used a very worn vintage brass button. I've made the smallest of little envelopes and I've done some stamping on a little letter inside. Let's take you in. I've kept it simple. This is going out to a girlfriend. This is a request. She's not. Um, she's seen some of my junk journals but never owned one herself. So I'm aware that she does do craft and this came about because she has sent some um, Tim Holtz... Um, die cuts down so that in mind I wanted to say thank you and her birthday is in December. I've used some vintage postcards um, that I've uh, hoarded at one point or other in my life so this is a little vintage postcard. I've got a like a napkin here. I put some designer paper and used a fancy punch down the outside folded it in half, then glued a thank you tag in here on this side and I used some alphabet stamps and just done some stamping over the napkin and some more stickers for my kit. All the pages, if I haven't mentioned already, are coffee stained and predominantly you'll see the kit that I was gifted and I've just used other elements that I've had in my stash I've got some little fancy envelopes and I've just done some snowflakes to add a little bit more of a Christmas theme I've got this wonderful doily that I was gifted we have some lace trim on the top here and I've used some Anna Griffin stamps and done some stamping on some coffee stained tea tag, um, tags. We have some Scrabble pieces. The lady's name is Lynn, so I've used some chipboard Scrabble pieces and included them in this particular book. They are cardboard, so they're a bit stiff, but they work for the purpose that I'd like them to. More coffee staining on the left hand side and some journaling with some stamps. On the right here we've got some very decorative lace. I use this particular tree to trace around on some book paper and then I've inked up, cut out and inked up the edges and I've just included this little piece of ribbon here at the bottom. More stamping. I've taken advantage of some of the Christmas cards that I've received, so I've taken this little deer that's come from a Christmas card. I've got another coffee stained tag here, and this was a Christmas card I received, which I've just done a little snowflake on the top, and used Tim Holtz glue and glitter here and done a little scallop punch and done a bit of stamping so it works as a tuck and a card on the right hand side here I've layered up I've used this clock face and some baker's twine here and on the baker's twine I put added these little snowflake charms I've used my envelope punch to make this little snowman envelope and also last year I was lucky enough to purchase from Rose Street a little Christmas journal and within that journal she gave me some extras so I've got this little to-do list here 
I was also gifted this particular tag which I just used some emulsion paint painted and then stamped with these conifers over the top. Now this particular book doesn't have many pages because I've well and truly put lots of bits and pieces inside so we've come to the centre of the signature already and I've enclosed a little few more charms down the centre here. I have a piece of vintage ephemera here, this hymn sheet, this dates from 1952. Done some more stamping with some of the stamps that I have in my collection and just got some little extras for Lynn to use later on. Here, yet again, I received a Christmas card with this ribbon trim on it and I've taken it off the card and used it as a belly band and done some layering at the back here with some Kaiser Craft papers. We've just got a little handmade tag here. We have a little coin envelope with this wonderful young lady on. And yet again, a little bit more ephemera that I was gifted by Rose Street. On the right here, I've obviously got part of an envelope and I've got an old vintage photography little holder here and inside just leave that there I've got it so inside it opens up and there's another little Christmas coin envelope I've done some used a stencil here for the decoration to this page. We've got flips and all sorts going on. We've got an envelope, a Christmas postcard. I've actually put some trim behind so you can actually put your hand or slide something in behind this postcard because this postcard is not glued down. It's glued down at the bottom and the top with the lace at the back. We've got an index card here. On the right hand side I've made a little flip with washi and just done some stamping. Here we've got some lace trim at the top, a belly band and part of the ephemera from the kit. More of the lace trim and the pocket and a little coin envelope with this lovely angel on it. Just using up bits and pieces of stuff I had in my stash. So this is a little envelope here with some stamping and this will add as a little journaling spot for later on. Using the scrabble piece, I've punched holes and I've put this, all these fibres I've tied up at the top. We've got a coffee stain tag which has been stamped. Got all these little sections for tucks here, and we've just got part of an ephemera kit here. I think the washi tape is giving up slightly here on this little postcard section here, but this will be a journaling spot. I have to replace that washi. And here, if we turn it round, we've got December. And yet again, I've just put 
these little sections to hold that December calendar and this is just laid up <coughs> excuse me now this is a little bit of uh, overkill I think on the ribbons here I've got one of my Jane Austen coffee stained little notes here and I may take some of this trim off this ribbon I don't think all of it was required to keep this little triple envelope together and each side in each one of these envelopes has got a little journaling card on the right hand side here I've used <coughs> excuse me some ribbon to hold another vintage Christmas postcard this young little lady has been glued on to a little card and I've just backed it with some red paper and so this is like it could be used as a tuck this tag is actually secure and then there's a little pocket in the corner Here we have, excuse me, we've got another little tuck at the top, a piece of ephemera, little Father Christmas, a couple of little envelopes. I took some cookie cutters and put it into the coffee granules and this is what I came up with. Here we have little envelopes all stuck one behind the other which has just made a little booklet within the physical journal another vintage postcard with Father Christmas on a little playing card and this postcard with a little vintage stamp As a young lady, Lynn, she does crafting, I was hoping that she'd be able to use these fibres so she can take this off and use these fibres that I've enclosed. We've got two more coffee stained tags which I've stamped up. We have this tag that can be removed and with this chipboard piece here I've glued Santa onto here, there's a little manor tuck and we've got these three tags that could be removed here. Now this little punch marks here just and this baker's twine is for the next page. Just used it as a feature. Rather this is my sort of version, this is the other side of that little booklet and to keep that little envelope section tied down I've used this baker's twine and run it through this particular page to the other side and then that works as a bit of a belly band and we have another vintage postcard a to-do list and a December calendar A little sticker and I've just edged this with some vintage photo distress ink. On the right here we've got some little post-it notes that Lynn can use in any of her work. A little envelope which has got inside another little vintage envelope. A few more I've fussy cut and put some little snowflakes on. This one I've just put some little trim there to keep the flap shut. A gift 
connected clip here and this was from Jan. She very, very kindly gifted me this little one so I'm gifting it on. And yet again we've got a little envelope at the top with a little snowflake. And here we've got a few plain tags, coffee stained up but ready for Lynn to stamp with her own stamps. A little bookmark saying, may our home always be too small to hold all our friends. A little stamp that I bought whilst I was in Amsterdam which I've coloured in. A little doily which could be used all these corners you could tuck something behind just some gift wrap here which I folded up and turned into a bag I've just got a little bit of ribbon trim at the bottom here yet again just some coffee stained Graph paper, and a couple of tags, which are decorated both sides, and the word journey, a little angel coin envelope, part of ephemera that can be journaled on. I recently brought these little metal embellishments with these lovely little angels and we've just got some calico little banners all held together punched in with twine and a little stamp here that I've coloured in. And lastly the conifers just stamped at the back and you can see the baker's twine and I've left this blank. I'm going to put a little message in here for Lynn later at the end of the day. Well thank you ever so much for taking the trouble to watch this video of my Christmas junk journal. Bye bye for now.